With Claris Connect, automating your workflows by connecting the applications you use every day is as easy as point and click. The benefits of using Claris Connect are endless and include managing marketing leads instantly, route prospects to sales, track IT ticket escalations, facilitate order processing, and much, much more. We will begin this video by going over several of the terms you should know to get the most out of Claris Connect. After that, the second half of the video will take a closer look at what projects and flows are. At the heart of Claris Connect is the concept of flows. You use flows to automate your everyday business tasks and processes by connecting two or more components. A component can be a Claris Connect utility or a connector to a third party app or service. Claris Connect utilities are predefined actions, such as scheduling an action or performing a calculation. For example, you can use the text utility to return the domain in an email address, or the images utility to extract data from a document or image file. Connectors allow for data integration and exchange with popular and industry-leading applications, ranging from mailing list applications to file sharing utilities to contact management. Also, Claris Connect provides access to your FileMaker data directly using the FileMaker server connector. Let's launch Claris Connect and explore the home page. It is on the home page where you create and manage your different projects in your account. And it is the first page you see when you launch Claris Connect. You can create and manage projects to organize the various flows that you create. For example, you might create a project for all your sales flows and another project for all your purchasing flows. You can create as many projects as you need. And it is also from the home page where you can edit, rename, or delete these projects. If you are a new user to Claris Connect and have not created any projects, Claris Connect prompts you to create your first one. Creating a new project requires providing a name and clicking Create. When you create a new project, Claris Connect opens your new project and prompts you to create a flow. That was a quick tour of the home page and how to set up a project. Next up, we will check out what it takes to start building your first flow. Now the initial step in any flow is a trigger. A trigger is an event that initiates a flow. For example, a trigger might check when a file is downloaded, a new order or event is created, or a new subscriber is detected in a mailing list. A trigger has two essential parts to it. The component in which the flow starts, and the event in that component that initiates the flow. Most of the time, when you use a component in a flow, you need to connect to the account associated with that component. In other words, you need to log into the component so that Claris Connect knows how to access the app or service when executing your flows. You may notice that some of the components are not available to use as triggers. This is because not all utilities and connectors can act as triggers and Claris Connect dims out those that cannot be used. You can get a list of what triggers and actions are supported for a given component by hovering over a component and clicking the information icon. Subsequent steps in a flow are referred to as actions. Claris Connect provides different types of steps for you to use as part of your flows. Configuring an action is similar to setting a trigger. You begin by specifying a component and the event within the component 
as well as logging into the account of the component if necessary. Many times when configuring an action step in a flow, you will need to work with step data. Step data is real data returned from a previous step in a flow. You can use this data to help you configure subsequent steps in your flow. You work with step data using the step data icon when setting the input fields for an action. A typical scenario might be to create a dummy record in the application or utility that is configured as your trigger and then use the step data from that dummy record to set up your action step. When you have finished creating your flow, note that by default, it is disabled. To enable or disable a flow, use the enable disable slider on the flows tab of a project or click a flow and on the edit tab, use the enable disable slider there. When you enable a flow, the flow will run whenever the trigger event occurs. And that's it. You just created your first flow using Claris Connect. To find out more about Claris Connect, please visit our website at www.claris.com.